There's only just you know negative associations, you know, like oh that means chaos. But I mm. don't know if they've thought about it as much, like what that what yeah, like a truly what private they... society would look like, and yeah. you know just be a lot of contracts. Well, the think. libertarian point of view is, you know, totally alien to most people. I, I, even though, as Stanton pointed out. You know, it, that, that's pretty much how the average person conducts himself in the world. No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 certainly. But, uh, yeah, with, with regard to, uh, you yeah, know, greater political questions, it, it, it's uh, just a totally alien viewpoint. You know, I remember when I first read about libertarianism, you know, it, it really struck me in that, wow, this makes so much sense. But it was also striking because it, it was, you know, a, a point of view that I had just never heard before, ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. Because anarchists are the coolest. All my favorite people are anarchists. Like, I'm not cool <laughs> enough yet to be an anarchist, which is part of the reason I have, like, long blonde hair. But if I was a cool anarchist, I'd probably, like, shave it all up. <laughs> <laughs> we have this tweet that we always make in class. Alright. Maybe by the end of the night you'll have one. But it's, uh... It's got balls. And um, it's a little rubble yell. Okay. And some freedom. <laughs> You're gonna love this popcorn. Oh, this is I Roger's infamous Liberty popcorn. <laughs> Liberty popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> 
totally. Maybe we should give YouTube that. your recipe, huh? <laughs> I posted it on Facebook. I said, my, res my recipe for yum. <laughs> And suddenly this argument about whether the Constitution, Constitution. is relevant, is relevant yeah. comes up. Well, well, what it was is we, we made like a uh, reading list, you know, because you know, to everybody to educate themselves, you know, <laughs> self, the self, self improvement, you know, uh, within the group. And so we started reading For a New Liberty by Rothbard, and uh, Jaime and I had read it, I, I think. And so Jaime knew that, like, I. I you know, I'm like in favor of anarchy or, or what have you, and, and so we were really hard at work on this thing, and we're kind of like at, at wit's end, and, uh, <laughs> and so I think Jaime is probably starting, trying to start an argument or something. <laughs> <laughs> work, success. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so he can force the issue. Is, is what happened. I, I have to answer honestly and say. No, I'm not really concerned about the Constitution, you know, as an ideal. And he was just... You said it was like, it was used to, like, use power from the moment, before the ink even dried. Yeah. And I was like, blown away, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah Roger was just appalled, and I thought that he was going to throw us all out of his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him angry before. <laughs> yeah, and then there was a complete turnaround. It was, it was. It was a turnaround, and like, I still kept that. I, I still kept it, the flyer. Restore the Constitution. <laughs> 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 To like come around to realize well, the Constitution. A day. It took me 24 hours to realize I didn't actually believe what I was preaching, and then I, <laughs> and then I changed my mind. You know, before you found Ron Paul, you know, how would you describe your political views? Yeah, I mean, I, I was a constitutionalist my whole life. I like believed in freedom, and that was like one of my like, core beliefs. But uh, but you know, I believe that we are democratizing the world. You know, I know I keep talking about this a lot. Oh yeah, like you, like we need to fix everybody else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And that democracy is a good thing. I didn't believe that democracy was a good thing. Yeah, me too. That was I didn't great. believe it was turning the majority. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, very, very, very deeply ingrained. Yeah. yeah. I remember writing a paper in kindergarten, or maybe it was first grade, saying that we should democratize the whole world. Oh. So in order to create what you want, you it's uh, it'd be easier if you focus on what you on the good stuff, on what you want. Gratitude. Gratitude. Solutions. Solutions. <laughs> Solutions. So the video is important to get that out there. To get that out there, and it's I think it's just hard to speak openly when you feel like there's a an eye an eye on you. But I think it's it's okay. I just got you know we just gotta get used to it. And, uh, 